Grade here with a uh, Matilda replay. This is actually one of my favorite tanks. Actually, this is my favorite tank. Uh, I know people don't like how slow it is. It only gets about uh, 25 kilometers an hour, but it's all about that gun. The gun and the armor on this thing are phenomenal at tier 4. Uh, the gun has about, ooh, I don't know, 120 pounds. Well, actually, we can take a look at it here. It has a penetration of 121 in a tier 4. This thing will punch through pretty much everything up to tier 6, which is what its uh, top battle tier is. Uh, this one, this is Pearl River. I am going north, uh, mainly because at this tier, at this level, the Matilda is a heavy, and heavies run this route. Now what I do here, when I see that I'm in an all four, uh, tier 4 game, because of the way that I, uh, you know, the crew skills that I've got in my Matilda, and uh, just how much I love this tank, I just play it with no fear. See, I bounced a PZ3 there. Uh, I don't stop. I'm not going to stop up here. I don't want to get caught up in, in the, uh, the choke point up there. I want to break through to help my team get through here. So when this Covenator pops around the corner here, I'm going to take a couple of shots on the run. But I keep running around here. I think that first miss was the Electo. The T40 nails me. He goes back and up the hill. I have no idea why he does that, but with the reload speeds of this gun, he's toast. It's got a 1.77 reload time. Basically, this is an auto loader with a 60 round clip. Selecto so tracks me, take him out. Now that Covenator comes around. Puts a few in my side and realizes he's not going to do anything to me. He backs out. And I pop around this corner, trying to keep as few guns on me as possible. Now here's the enemy Matilda. I go for a track here to make sure his side stays on. Because I can pen his side, but the front gets kind of bouncy. And finally, the PZ-3. This is the last tank up front here. Now, that 95 hit was from the uh, from the enemy artillery. That's about the only thing that I fear in my Matilda in an all-four match. But as you can see, by pushing that fast, my team breaks through, um, and we're able to swing around and start uh, breaking through on the back into their base. I get a little cocky, and that's how you Tilda. I don't know what those two are doing back there. Oh, the, Mat the other Matilda's going back around, which is a good idea. Not a lot happens here, mainly because I'm slow. They got my driver. I don't want to waste the 3,000 credits to get my driver back at this point. So I just let the... Uh, RPZ-3 and our T-40 head up there. Now this is what I always tell my teammates about a Matilda. 375 meters. And I'll start putting shots into that Hetzer. With this tank, you don't need to be close. And with that gun, it doesn't matter if you miss. Less than a second later, or less than two seconds later, you're going to have another shot downrange. Don't have a shot on the AMX, but I think the T40 takes him out. Now here, what I'm what I'm thinking is I don't want to go into that cap and let them know where I am. I know that uh, the enemy team loves to camp up around the uh, three line to watch their cap, and with my health and as slow as I am, there's no way I'm going to let them have free shots on me. I was going to try for that Hetzer, but uh, I lose sight. So I decided to come around this rock. Get better angling. And he should be popping up here pretty soon. Look at the accuracy of this gun. 
mean, barely anything of that uh, 2001 showing. Two out, two into his turret. He's trying to weed him there. His tracks eat one, but he's gone. Nothing he could do. My team is holding pretty good in the south. I just need to not die up here. Because the only thing backing me up is my arty at this point. Thinking at this point I wanted to get over there to see if I could get shots on that Lux. But, uh... Yeah, way too slow at this point. So, let me speed up the game here, because... I know not much happens. There's the Lux. They're cleaning up over there. I come up the hill. Looking for that 2001. There he is. I think I got the spot in for my Artie there. And then playing Ridgeline with my gun. I've got the accuracy, he doesn't. And that's the game. Uh, ended up with seven kills on that one. Was a pretty good run. I don't have the uh, the end game stats, but I w walked away with about uh, 1,700 experience on that one. I think it was doubled, I'm not sure. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's why I love the Matilda. Just zero, absolutely no care in the world. Come around that north and just broke through like a boss. Anyway... Have fun.